Welcome back to Waze. Technology has important effect on business operations. No matter the size of your enterprise, technology has both tangible and intangible benefits that would help you make money and produce the results your consumers demand. Ukinedo Dari is the head of Edo Jobs and the project coordinator for Innovate, an innovation cluster that is upscaling youth, leveraging on technology to create jobs and incubate businesses for 13,000 people annually. Whoa. <laughs> when I read that, I said, wow, this is amazing. But let me quickly say, if you want to send an SMS, please, the number is 081-8038-4663. Three. Just send SMS only because we cannot take calls. Thank you so much, Wiki, for coming. It's a pleasure. By the way, you are so pretty. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh my <laughs> I had to put that in. <laughs> now tell you're us. You're also pretty as well. Oh, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank tell you. us. So hot, yeah, hot. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Um, I hear a lot of people, everybody, because it's like it's the new fad. Everybody wants to go. They want to digitalize their businesses. They want to put technology, blah, blah, blah. And I know that many people do not not pay attention to the right technology that is suitable mm. for their businesses. So if we want to start this conversation, what would you say um, are the common mistakes people make when it comes to technology and their businesses? Okay. Um, I think the first mistake I would say people make when it comes to doing what we call making their businesses tech-enabled is they don't care about it. They feel it's not important. Oh, I have my customers. What's my business? Mm -hmm. I'm doing well. And then they don't realize that, like you said earlier, the world is changing, and if you're not leveraging on technology, you are missing out, even without knowing it. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the second thing, some people are actually just scared and feel, okay, it's not, it's not something I'm used to, so how do I go about this? Now, one easy way that um, startups can always solve this problem is when you have your lovely and wonderful business idea, find somebody who is, I mean, grounded in technology, that you can partner with. The person can be a part of your business. But the mistake is that a lot of times, startups just automatically go and say, oh, you'll be my CTO. That's the... the <laughs> technology. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and they, they create marriages that don't work. Mm. Because this other person might have all the tech skills, but he's not passionate about what you're about to do. So at the end of the day, you tie yourself to somebody, give them shares in your business, and it's a wrong fit. So people have to be able to identify the right partners, and if you can't find the right partner, then maybe you have to find the right person that can invest, because sometimes it's pretty expensive. Well, I mean, what are, what are the chances that, you know, you'll find someone who has the expertise that mm -hmm. also has, that shares your values or your goals, you know, what are, they, what are the chances? So because, what if, how about the focus is just, you know, you have this expertise, you don't really need to care about what, I mean, you should have some degree of care, but you may not be as passionate, but, I can direct you and sort of say, this is what I need you to do. Then that person can be somebody that you just pay for their service and they perform the service and they go, True. rather than bringing True. that person on board. on board. Usually why people would um, say, let me get this person as a partner, is because of money. Because it can be expensive. If you're just going to pay a tech guru to do this work for you, sometimes you're paying somebody in another country or whatever it is, it can be really expensive. And if you want um, to, if you don't have money and you're bootstrapping, you want somebody that you, you will work together, let me focus on the business, on you the focus side. on the technology, yeah, like and then we can grow together. Well, you see, mm -hmm. I know you want to come in. Let me yes. just quickly, okay. I want to quickly ask, um, um, okay, from your profile, we read that you annually, mm -hmm. You, you create um, opportunities for about 10,000 people, you know, through technology. How do you do that exactly? Let's bring it home. Thank you. <laughs> now, that number that is actually... Oh, oh, sorry! Because, uh, see, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. You are really in this period. My yes. I like yes. Yes. So, um, the thing mm. is, um, that number has actually gone way up. This oh, wow. year, we, I okay. mean, we've had over 20,000 people pass through Edo Innovate, and it's a year and a half old. Wow. So, what happens at Edo Innovate is that it was actually all the governor's idea. Edo Innovate is an initiative of the Edo State Government. So Mr. Gordon Obaseki wanted to create a place where young innovators in Edo State can just, for lack of a better word, go crazy, do their thing, come up with bright ideas, solve problems, and then we set up the innovation hub. So what we do there, we do three major things. Okay. First of all, we decided not to just have it as one hub. We made it a hub of hubs. So we brought 
together different partners. So in the location, the place can take over a thousand people. But we segmented it so that every part of the hub is doing something different. So we have a hub there um, that is focused on startup stage businesses. These guys are just idea stage. Okay, I want to do this. I have this passion. I'm interested in this. And they might not have any idea about finances, technology. Yeah. So we don't restrict it to the fact that you have to have a, uh, tech, a tech business. A tech skill. Yeah. Okay. It could just be any business, selling wigs or whatever the business is. Now, that hub, what happens there is they, 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 they get hot, they get mentored, they learn how to put some structure, how to, okay, maybe you need to change your business model a, a bit, bit yeah. make it more realistic. And then in that same hub, we have tech labs that are teaching people core technology skills from programming, artificial intelligence, data science, wow. I mean, digital design, all sorts, web design. Okay, so before, before you go too far, mm -hmm. let me just interrupt Sorry. you. <laughs> let me let you see go, because you will slaughter me. <laughs> you see, quickly, we don't have time. No Where I, what I would love to ask mm -hmm. is, how are you able to um, get the youths mm -hmm. to actually buy into this idea of yeah. yours so through technology? One good thing, the, the thing was that we because got I this, that, when uh, we started the hub, uh, very when we were about to start the hub, yes. oh my God, people came and said, tech, IT, Edo State, who, where, which youth, how? Oh, if we want to teach them how to do Yahoo, Yahoo, very well. <laughs> All sorts of things we heard, and so mm -hmm. ridiculous. But what happened was that, like I said, we have so many things going on. You have the guys who want to learn tech skills, they're learning tech. You have co-working spaces, people are working together. Mm -hmm. You have startups having a place to express themselves. Awesome. And we just realized that the tech, there was a tech community in Edo, but it was just underground. Mm -hmm. So what they do, they just try, try, try. When they feel they're good enough, they just move out and come to Lagos. So now we're retaining our talent. Wow, we're bringing them back. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. I mean, when I saw her, first of all, because, yes. wait, hold on, let me do some fancy because she's from my state. Of we are okay. from okay. Edo okay. State. Yes. We you know, are. Well, okay. but I, I wanted to ask, you know, what are the common errors when it comes to partnerships? Because okay. what I hear you say mm. now is that mm -hmm. as a startup, you must understand that you must have the right partners. Yeah. And people just want to, I want to do it myself. I want to do it myself. People don't understand the power of collaboration. Mm. Mm -hmm. They don't understand the power of partnership and sourcing the right people. Yeah. What would you say, you know, to any youth how, out there that has a fantastic idea? You know, how would you encourage that person, you know, to partner? With what I'll say about that is, you know, be in an environment where you can meet a lot of people. So that's what our hub gives young people. You are seeing different people every day. You are not thinking of being co-founders yet. Me, I'm just doing my business. You are doing your tech thing. But mm. we eat lunch in the same cafeteria. We discuss our ideas. We are yeah. networking. So being a place where you can network with people, don't, don't jump into any partnership that is permanent. Be very careful. But at the same time, don't be too careful. Because people become so protective. Like, it's my, it's my baby. I don't want to and share my idea. The they don't grow in exactly. the process. Exactly. So you have to be open. Mm. You have to be open. You have to be, you have to be able to look deeper than... A person just saying a lot of sweet words. Look at how they do it. If somebody has an excuse for every single thing, mm. no matter how much passion they tell you they have for your business, just leave them alone because when you are running, they'll be sitting Talking down. Cheap, yeah. So you just have to, yes, you know? Sir? Yeah. <laughs> so we're just talking about, you know, going deeper. And I yeah. just wanted to touch on the impact. So, mm -hmm. you know, this number of youths goes to yeah. the hub. Yeah. You, how are you able to measure the actual impact, which is yeah, what happens truck. after they leave the hub? So mm -hmm. I have a brother who's gone to one of these hubs, and yeah. you know, I'm just wondering, do they? Try, what if he stops this business? Can and they've recorded it as you know, this is. It's a success story. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you understand? So what do you do? So the good thing is that all the things we do at the hub, the innovation of just one of our hubs, all yeah. the things we do at the hub are based off of Edo Jobs. Once again, the governor's idea, mm -hmm. and with Edo Jobs, we keep track of all our beneficiaries because, for example, we're always. I'm their chief marketer, marketing their businesses, like patronize, patronize, patronize. We call them Edo Jobbers in business. So this Christmas, we're all our Edo Jobbers from those who make beads. Hey, and you, who, you have yeah. a technology-driven marketing exactly. plan. Exactly. So we're saying patronize the young businesses in Edo because that way you're empowering young people. So we don't, our own is not just to train them or to get them going. And then they come to the hub. They walk out of the hub. 
So it's not like um, um, where it's a profit-making enterprise, where right. it's so much. We have startups that grow, come into the hub, they take a desk, okay. then they take a whole office, mm -hmm. and then they move out and go and rent buildings yeah, and have fantastic. their businesses growing. So, so it means that what you've done with that hub is, first of all, you've taken out that, that initial sunk cost of owning your own exactly. place to start your business. So you yeah. can start there, mm -hmm. grow your business, then when your business is, is strong enough, yeah. you can now move out from that place. And yeah. there a lot of hubs like that all over Nigeria. Exactly. So we are hoping young people, if you have fantastic ideas, you have great ideas, leverage on technology that's, mm -hmm. a, that's available. You know, if you're in Edo State, my state. Our <laughs> state. Yes, yes. Our state. Yes, go to the innovation, yes, hub. To the innovation hub in Edo State. Yes. But the truth is that you must leverage must on what is available. Yes. Yeah, you must leverage with, with um, you must leverage on what is available. You know, to keep the your business going. So do you have final words for? For young people out there, okay, I know you must have something. Okay, something well, to <laughs> yes. <laughs> My final words for anybody trying to start a business are very simple. There's no skill that is not learnable. Everything in this world is learnable. That's why a normal human being starts watching certain kind of videos and becomes a terrorist yeah. because he's absorbing yeah. information. Yeah. So you mm -hmm. are a sponge. You were yeah. created to be one. So there's nothing, nothing really limiting you to say, oh me, I'm not just into this tech thing. Oh no, social media is not. Yes, not you, you are not into it because you've not started it. Mm. Put yourself, immerse yourself in it. If you need it, the most important thing, just like he said about the rent, own, and all of that, the most important part of your business cannot be something that somebody else has, is possession, ex, of, has yeah. possession of. If technology is the foundation of your business, my dear, there's nothing like I'm not swim inside and dive learning. inside awesome and so learning. you heard it to yes. swim inside dive inside yes. <laughs> thank you so much thank you for coming i mean you are such an amazing person so i hope much. whenever you're in lagos you stop by to yes. meet us at ways yes, yes, yes. yeah <laughs> and thank you ladies oh, <laughs> thank you Isi thank and you. Um, nasa Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, we couldn't take any SMS or tweets because we really ran out of time. So catch us live every weekend from Friday to Sunday at 8 p.m. as we bring thought-provoking, engaging, and informative conversations to your screen. It's been an insightful conversation. Yes, yes. 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 absolutely. So please keep a date with us and let the, con the conversation continue on all our social media platforms. And let's hear what you have to say. So have... Enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs>